All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we are going to be taking down the Universe 9, God of Destruction, uh, Sidra, who, if I remember correctly, was actually one of, if not the easiest god of all 12. And uh, as you can see, we're running a mono SDR team here, by far the lowest percentage leader skill that I've used so far, but I think we're going to be okay. Obviously, we got the double STR Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, we have the STR UI Goku, and my boy LR Blue Gogeta, who I don't use a lot, but this guy actually, I feel like, has been getting a lot of disrespect, and he is much better than a lot of people give him credit for these days, so definitely going to bring him. And aside from that, of course, STR Vegito, and we got the... Uh, 18 and Krillin combo too, which is really, really strong. So, uh, yeah, that's the team. And with all that said, let's jump right in and see how it goes. Okay, taking a second to load. Here we go. So it doesn't look like we have the Krillin and 18 together here. So what I'm probably going to do is actually take her out of rotation and get her with the Krillin as soon as possible. So first attack, I'm going to leave... UI where he is, and that's going to be 18k super, that's awesome. And uh, we'll just give one orb to Super Saiyan 4. Let me check the defense real quick, actually. Okay, so about 100,000 for Goku's, and then about 90,000 for 18, so not too bad. Alright, let's save those. Alright. So UI Goku getting about, yeah, as I expected, about 3 million. Um... The first time we took on Sidra, I think I beat him first try, and I remember being surprised, like, how easy he was. Okay, so he's gonna super here. It might be... Oh, we dodged that. Nice. Good job. Good job. Okay, it took about 23k for the normal, but I remember when we were doing the Belmont event, uh, even after I had dodged a couple of attacks, Belmont hit my STR UI Goku, right, this guy right here, I remember he took about 160k per normal, and this was under 170% leader skills. So right off the bat, like immediately you can tell that, um, you know, this guy hits a lot less hard, or does not hit as hard, not nearly as hard as Belmod. So uh, yeah, let me, I think I can leave Krillin there actually, because he gets the 50% damage reduction when its guard is activated. And since we have type advantage, it's always gonna be activated. So I think Krillin is fine where he is. Let's uh, keep, do I wanna keep Super Saiyan 4 or the Vegito is the question. I think I'm gonna keep Super Saiyan 4 Goku in rotation actually. Yeah, let's, let's, wait, does Krillin raise defense? I forgot. Raises attack and defense for one turn. Okay, that's actually pretty good, so. I guess we might want to get a super off with Krillin, maybe? Seems like a waste, though. But let's do it. We'll give the super to Krillin. Get a little bit more defense. And I'll give that to Super Saiyan 4. And we'll give these to Vegito. Kind of worked out, actually. Yeah, everybody's supering. That's perfect. And... Yeah, okay. Some pretty good tanking from Krillin. It's going to be even better once we have the 18 on rotation. But look at that, man. Yeah, this Krillin's very underrated, man. I mean, actually... I want to say underrated. I would just say a lot of people don't necessarily understand how good he can actually be. So if you haven't used the Krillin, he's free to play by the way, so anybody can get him. But if you haven't used him, uh, test him out because uh, he can definitely give you some good tanking on these god events as well as some other events. Of course, if you don't have type advantage, then it's not guaranteed guard, so... You do have to be, you know, careful about that, but for, for something like this, and also against Moscow, he's amazing. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is put UI in front again. We'll keep the Super Saiyan 4 in the middle. And let's just give, I guess, one orb to UI. Let's give those to Super Saiyan 4, and we'll give these to the Gogeta. Of course, I want him to mostly stay in the last slot because he does get the high chance to dodge there. And if we can get the transformation, that's when I'll like, you know, put him in the main rotation with the UI Goku. But for now, untransformed, obviously, 
not nearly as good defensively, so I think the third slot just makes sense for him at the moment. And Super Saiyan 4 Goku just going off, as always. No surprise there. We're taking some good damage though, I'm not gonna lie, like he still hits pretty hard. Um, Sidra, you know, all things considered, it is still gonna do some good damage to you, but when you compare him to a lot of the other gods, his defense, or his damage rather, is really not that impressive. It's really not gonna scare you too much when, when compared to like Belmont or uh, even Beerus or a lot of other guys actually. I do think he's probably the hardest, uh, or the easiest rather, I think he's probably the easiest god of destruction of the entire set. Cause like, look at this, we're using 130% leads and so far I haven't had to use an item. I probably won't have to for the entire run, I'm thinking. Uh, we took a super there, but it was only about 60, 70 ish K. You know what? We're gonna go for a no item run. We're gonna go for a no item run. Okay, so 18, getting about 2.4. Not bad. And some good damage with the crit, okay. Additional. And let's see how much he tanks for. Okay, yeah, so some excellent tanking from my girl 18. To be expected, though. To be expected. Additional from Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Amazing. Alright. So, we finally get the Icarus. I'm still gonna save the item, though. Um, the question is, do we pop that active skill? I'm really tempted, honestly. I really am. I know it's kind of dangerous because he does lose his damage reduction, but at the same time... <sighs> I just want to see the animation, man. I want to see the counters, so I'm gonna do it. Is, is this gonna be a mistake? Maybe. Maybe. But we can foresee the super attacks, so we can just, we can just make sure to not put him in front of a super attack, right? <laughs> so let's see uh, if we get a super this turn. Or if he's gonna super us this turn. Sweet. Okay. So it looks like no supers did. Oh, never mind. Actually, super in the middle. Super in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is put Vegito there and uh, give him a 12 key or 18 key super attack. Get some counters in there, and then we're gonna let the UI Goku, um, you know, potentially dodge that. Hopefully he dodges. Hopefully he dodges. He's let me down a couple times in the past, but you know what, recently he's been okay. So I'm gonna I'm put my trust in him, put my faith in him. Got a couple of crit counters, love to see that. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna say UI Goku's gonna dodge this, guaranteed. He's gonna do it. Ooh, a nice additional super. Um, yeah, UI Goku will not get hit by the super. I'm calling it right now. Come on, don't let me down, man. Don't let me down. Unless we just kill him here, we can just straight up destroy destroy Sidra with the super. That'd be nice too. Okay, never mind. Not quite. Dodge. Oh, nice. All right, second dodge super, right? I'm pretty sure that's the second dodge super. Good job. Good job. Okay, so we will definitely be able to finish him. And you know what? This is the perfect way to end it. We're gonna let my boy LR Blue Godita. Do his thing. And, uh, oh, this is super there. Okay, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I don't really want to put him in, in harm's way like that. Uh, unless he finishes off Sidra himself before Sidra gets the super. But I'm a little bit worried. I'll be honest. I'm a little bit worried. So I'm going to put. Yeah, I'm going to I'm put. Uh, forgot his name for a second. Krillin. <laughs> I don't know why I blanked. We're gonna put Krillin there and then we'll give the super to Gogeta and we'll do that. You know what? It would have made more sense obviously to keep uh, you know Krillin and 18 together but I just really want Gogeta to get a super off so hopefully this was not a mistake. Ah that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. So with the additional attack, maybe additional super, 
We should be good. Attack's effective against all, of course. Uh, come on. Give me one more super. Damn. Okay. So... Not, not amazing damage. Not too bad, but not, not amazing. But I guess it's fine. Yo, let's finish this off with a couple of counters. Okay, let, let's just get this done. Out of the way. There we go. Crit counter. Nope, no crit there. One more. You may crit. There we go. He should be dead now. Oh! Okay, he has a little bit more HP than I thought. A little bit more HP than I thought. But there you go, guys. Sidra. Done. Mono STR team. Not really uh, too much of an issue. I mean, he's the first God of Destruction where not only did I use a 130% lead, but at the same time, I didn't have to use an item at all. Um, yeah, no item run right there. I'm, I'm not saying... Oh, okay. Technically, I guess we had the Icarus, but I didn't really need it. Um, technically, you know... Uh, did I do any other no item runs? I, maybe? I don't remember. But the point is, like, it, it just was, like, really chill. Like, I didn't really have to worry for a second about potentially, you know, dying if I didn't pop something like a princess snake or something like that. So, um, yeah, man, I think he's definitely the easiest out of the 12 gods. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Which one gave you the most trouble? Which one did you find the easiest? I think a lot of people do think that Sidra is probably, you know, at least high on the list of the easiest gods, if not the easiest god, right? So, uh, there you have it guys, that is today's video, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, hope you guys are excited for what's coming after the 6th anniversary, I did make a video yesterday going over all of the banners and units we can expect to see over the next couple of months, so if you guys missed that, then definitely go check it out through the link above my head, and uh, that is going to be it for now, thank you guys so much for watching, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out